We absolutely knew the New York Rangers were going to come out today with a much better performance than the one they did a week ago at Madison Square Garden where the Leafs beat the living snot out of them. 7-3? 7-4? Something like that. And you got that. The Rangers were a much better team today. Obviously had Keandre Miller in the lineup as well. Definitely helps with them on the back end. But also they got a lot of help. The hockey gods were in full effect tonight. And three of the Rangers goals were just flat out luck. And I, I don't know if there's going to be any Ranger fans coming on here and watching this video. But if there are, I mean, you, you, it's obvious. <laughs> like The first goal of the game... In the second period, because after the first period, it was 0-0 and 11-5 Rangers. Again, they played the better game. But um, in the second period, you know, was it to Banajad or was it, I think, Wheeler? Or, who the hell took the shot? I don't even know. But the puck, like, ping-pongs in between a bunch of guys and somehow finds a way to slide past Martin Jones as no one knows where the puck is. And everyone's laughing on the Rangers' side. Wheeler's laughing. Keanu Miller comes over to the guys and is like, oh, I don't know what happened. And it's just one of those greasy ones where you take a shot, it hits off about four different things, and somehow trickles past the goalie. He has no idea where the puck is. And you're down one nothing. But just over a minute after that, Morgan Riley busts through the neutral zone. With the, with he, he finds a loose puck and gets into the neutral zone, gets around the defender, and the other defender has to come over to help, leaving Austin Matthews open in the slot. And Riley lays it for him on a platter, a little bit behind Matthews, but him just having a gorgeous shot as he does. Ramps up the stick, I believe it was of Charlie Lindgren. And he roofs it, high glove, on Igor Sesterkin. They showed Igor Sesterkin's numbers high glove this year. Quite ugly, you know, compared to his stats in previous years. And Bertuzzi and Riley grab assist and Matthews' 24th goal of the season at 732. Seems like he's okay. He was out with flu or with the illness or whatever like TJ Brody was. And he comes back and snipes midway through the second period. Great stuff. Just over two minutes after that though. On the power play. It looks like the Leafs are going to kill it off. There's not much time left. Lafreniere left fires it on. It goes off the chest of Morgan Riley. And past Martin Jones. Puck's going wide. It's not going in. <laughs> it's, it would have been. Or where was. I think it was going wide. Glove side on Martin Jones. Maybe it was the other side. Either way, it goes off the chest of Morgan Riley, and Jones has absolutely no chance. And both of their goals <laughs> have been quite ugly, yet somehow the Rangers have a 2-1 lead midway through the second period. And in the second period, shots and goal were 17-14 in favor of the Rangers. Now, they obviously have Igor Sturkin in the net, and I don't care what his number suggests on the season. He's one of the best, if not the best, goaltender in hockey. I don't care what anybody says. He's fantastic. And in the third period, a buck 16 in, Jake McCabe finds Austin Matthews and he goes bar cheesy. Short side glove. Interesting. High glove on Igor Sesterkin to tie the game at two, a buck 16 in. McCabe and Nylander grab assists in the goal. His 25th of the season, double dips in the game. He's feeling just fine. And it's a whole new game. Seven minutes after that, Jake McCabe wants me to pull, makes me want to pull my hair out. He, like, the play comes up, right? And I'm seeing Braden Schneider coming down on a, on, a, on a player playing defense. And it's John Tavares. And I'm like, there was no chance for a guy to pinch. So, where's your other defenseman? And they show the replay and Jake McCabe's in the corner against Blake Wheeler. And I'm really not sure as to Why? Because now Braden Schneider's got a full head of steam and Tavares is in between the do I skate backwards or do I not? And he gets burned by Schneider and then Martin Jones, the one goal I want him to have back as he tries to go for the swipe poke check. Braden Schneider goes five hole on him and gives them the lead back. Obviously, they didn't look back from there on out, but or Timmy Panarin scores in the power play. <laughs> Looks like the puck's going wide and it goes off of William Legas and skate and in the net. You're like, oh, okay, eh, it's just one of those days. It is what it is. Three of their five goals, I mean, one was an empty netter, so three of their four real goals um, were deflections or off of Leafs players or ping pong balls. So, eh, it is what it is, and it's the Leafs' first regulation loss in, like, what, two, three weeks? It's like, they're they're still playing fantastic hockey. I, I can't I can't get on them about it, really. You know, Panarin's goal at 1508, Schneider's at 808, and then Zabana Jed's at 1647 into the MTK. Shots and goal for the game. We're 36 33 in favor of the Rangers. Look, it was a good hockey game. It was a tight checking, uh, hard fought game from both teams. It's unfortunate that there's ping pong balls all over the place, but hey, it's hockey, right? That's why you always say, 
it's never a bad idea to take a shot. Or Wayne Gretzky says, never, you know, duh, what was the thing? You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? And in the Rangers' case, it took three shots and went off, off Leafs or whatever and in the net. They took the shots and they went in. Doesn't matter how, they went in. Shots to go in the third period were 11-11, special teams. Uh, the Leafs did not have a power play today. I guess they played perfect hockey to the Rangers. They had two power plays, scored on both. But <laughs> when both power play goals, yeah, were redirected off of Leafs players. So, the painful look for the special teams. But if you really watch the game, eh, it is what it is. Martin Jones, four goals and 35 shots. And it's so hard to fault him for this game because you really can't. I'm not going to say it again about how many goals were redirected. But other than the Braden Schneider goal, I can't blame him for anything. And even the Braden Schneider goal, Tavares should not be having to play defense like that. <laughs> I don't know where Jake McCabe's off to. Key players, Austin Matt. So Samson, I was probably going to get the next start. Uh, Matthews, two goals and an assist. Nylander and Riley, Bertuzzi, McCabe, they all grab assists in the game. And that's all she wrote for the stats for the Leafs. And did Boston win in overtime? No, they lost in OT. God, they, they somehow made that game go to overtime, though. Next up for the Toronto Maple Leafs, they have two games. Before the, the Christmas holiday break. And it is against Buffalo in Buffalo on Thursday at 7 o'clock. And then on Saturday in Columbus against the Blue Jackets looking for revenge. Whatever. But for Buffalo, you're probably going to see Samson in the cage. As much as Martin Jones was good today, I thought he was quiet yet again. Made basically all the saves he was supposed to make. Unfortunately, that one goal. Sure, four goals. On the, he didn't win you the game. And I think with... Samsonov and the money he's making and what he's done for the organization this year and last year and all his and Martin jo- Samsonov will probably get that start against Buffalo and if he does well he'll start against Columbus but if he's, sh- he's shaky against Buffalo you might see Martin Jones against Columbus or he might ju- they might just say screw it two two games before the break Samsonov have at it we'll have to see though right so you know what guys that is going to do it for this one if you enjoyed the video and I mean, the game, but not the greasy nature of the goals. Hit that like button. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button. You guys not already comment down below your thoughts on the video, thoughts on the game. Would you like, would you not like from today's game? For the Toronto Maple Leafs, Twitter, Discord, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff is down below. So follow up there if you're not done so already. And I'll talk to you guys. Of course, I'll be here, Raptors Edition, even though they're painful to watch. I'll be here tomorrow night, 7.30 tip off. It's Coach Bankery between the Raptors and the Nuggets. We'll see what happens there. And as for the Leafs, like we talked about, they're back in action against the Buffalo Sabres in Buffalo. 7 o'clock puck drop there. Tons of Leaf fans probably going to be there. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And Matthew's two goals. We'll talk to you guys then.